Welcome to a brand new series of Airtel Touch and Lives. In this, the first episode of the new series, we visit a small village school that is battling against the odds. We will look back at the story of Emmanuel from Asasewa. Next stop will be Kaswa, where we have a story about a mother's love and dedication to her daughter. Lives is back with great stories from across the country featuring outstanding individuals who are creating change in their own lives and that of those around them. Hello and welcome to Airtel Touching Lives. My name is Sedem and together with AC, we take you on an exciting and inspiration-filled journey as we appreciate individuals who are doing great stuff, extraordinary things in their own lives and their communities. The program having already won very prestigious awards this year, Etel was recognized and presented with a CSR Company of the Year Award for 2013. <laughs> of course, this season would not be complete without a look back at some of your unforgettable stories from the previous season. I entreat you to put on your seat belts because it's really going to be a long and fantastic ride. Starting the show, AC takes us to Sumyami Kodru in the Central Region. Teachers are expected to produce successful pupils, but in most cases they have inadequate teaching and learning materials, and learning conditions are also poor. However, by some miracle, they are sometimes able to accomplish this impossible task. Pupils of Sunyami Kodia School are blessed with staff who work hard and do so selflessly. Sunyami Kodru JHS is situated between two towns and serves two primary schools. Its very rural education is seriously underdeveloped in this area. There's no electricity, making it difficult for learners to study at night. Drinking water is hard to come by, meaning many of the girls forsake their schoolwork to collect water. I'm Ignatius Buji. I'm a child of Sunyami Kudu, GSS. I'm a child of ICT and BDT. Oh, I said, 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 I Please tell me about yourself. Okay. I'm Moses Abibio Kwansa, and I'm currently the headmaster of Apnavu Basic School. What's it like living in the community? Oh, actually, it's, it's really a hard living area, but it's up to, you know, servicing oneself to be in that area because of the challenges that we do face. What are these challenges? Okay, um, truancy, and then um, snakes, nutrition, and, and then ICT challenges that we have in the school. Yeah. I want to you to answer what me at ICT at your school. I want you to come and say, ICT is a basically a process, but when you need machine, you need to try it. For ICT, the primary year, the year is so yeah. Ah, and the you move to you now, you need machine. In the trauma theory, my practice has made it here. In the because of any machines, ah, it be used. Ah, in the I'm not sure, I'm not sure. A woman who did it, yet that name, yeah. In short, I want to mention him. He said, "I have a poem, and I said, 'You better throw my coat one side of the classroom.' I said, 'I did. I back home. What you mean? From where I come to mention, he said, 'What transfer back home? What trauma did?' The whole community is not on the national grid, 
So uh, it's also making nice studies very difficult for the kids. So meaning when they get to their real house, they don't learn at all. We don't have any computer in the school, so we always have to pass the children up to Chopraso to enable them have internet access. The teachers have to take the students on a 45 minutes drive to the closest ICT center. And this is causing us a lot of problems. Because sometimes, uh, when even getting car from the village to Chopraso, it's really cumbersome. Uh, the last time we went to Chopraso, the car got stuck on one hill there, so they didn't have to get off and then push the car, it ended up selling all the dresses of the kids. So I even stopped the IC master not to be taking them to Brussels because I wasn't able to bear the risks involved. Which one? I didn't in ICT. I ICT in ICT. was ICT was in ICT. I 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 I see the boy, my mama, the yasal ko. The boy's my mama. Situation, I'm my nekodu. Because phone crampo you use now, I see it now. We be to me then, I dey use you. And this say, to me a man ko lana then. I am for my shima. I'm to me a book crampo. They can't compete with them. What are your needs? Oh, really, um, you want a fully established ICT center in our school and then um, a, a solar panel for electricity of which you'll be able to use to study and empower our ICT as well. It's really going to change the lives of the people and then the students as well because um, most of the parents do admire education and some too because, of it, because it's a farming area, they're not much interested. But with um, the influx of this light and then this ICT, you know right now we are in a global world of which everybody is to have basic knowledge about computing. So if, you know, one's kid is in the school and then he or, he or she is having access to this computer and then they come to the house, mommy, I was able to manipulate the computer. This, this, this. It will also um, drive them up to be sending their work to school, thereby educating them on one side as well. And then the light will also help them to be staying in the night. there's no better investment for any community than education. Teachers and pupils are aiming to step up into a new era full of opportunities through ICT. Guys, Moses and Ignatius are in the house with us. Please put your hands together and give them a sound. And... Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moses. What keeps you in that school? Actually, I really want to inspire the children how to take up education in the area. I want them to develop attitude toward better education or like getting themselves educated in the village. Because most of the times you see these kids getting pregnant because of um, the inability of them accessing education. Iggy, I mean, how would you rate your students? Do you think that they are at par with Students in more privileged schools. The average, the average students. Average students. Because consider the the situation they are, and they don't have materials in learning. So if they get to, if they get such a materials, to help them much. Well, Moses and Ignatius, we want to say thank you to you for the great work you're doing in that community. And it's this effort that Airtel Touching Lives wants to support. We want to help you and help the children in the process. So what Airtel Touching Lives wants me to tell you is that they will be doing a total repair of all the solar panels that you have there so we can bring electricity back to the school. That is first of all. We will also be renovating your ICT centre and supplying it with computers. And this, I'm sure, is a small way by which we can help you and the students in your school to, to reach out for their dreams. So Moses, tell me, how do you feel about this? I'm very, very, very excited. I'm actually happy with the I mean, Ignatius, without... what in the world can you do these days without the internet? What does it mean for you? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy. Not per se, but the entire community is also happy. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we were looking for. 
Well, I'll be expecting an email from both of you and your students when you get back to the school. All right. Okay, you're yes, doing a great job. Keep up with the good work. Thank you very much. You're the best. The show continues right after this break. There's so much more coming up. Stay with us. Touch your life. are contagious. Within us is the potential to transform lives through our actions and attitudes. Make your change with Airtel. Touch your life. Our last season featured a story of Emmanuel who had so much to deal with. Let's watch the story again. Asesewa in the eastern region is surrounded by farming communities. Near the central market, you would find Emmanuel, his wife, and their two children. They are expecting their third. Hey, my papa, who is here? My name is Emmanuel. Yes, yes, one, three. First time, I'm my papa, who is here. Me, my papa, been a very far from Cork, my sister. So, I know you're missing. So, I'm going to see you tomorrow. My brother, you're missing. You go in three months. You go tomorrow, and you go in your husband. You know, I know who is here. I'm the name of you, and I did try my best. It is a tough community to make a living in, and Emmanuel works hard to survive and overcome his disability, which has left him reliant on crutches. And this is the Papa Ben out to me. Yes, Sanders, slippers. But I mean, me here, man, Papa. Into the shame, you beat me. I met me. Sir, I didn't know how to pass them. Yeah, he won't be. I just saw him be. Oh, oh, that fussy, so Ben, you be. No, I'm not saying you be. Now we need. Into the shame, Ben, I say. Ebu wa ha unya sa. Because Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Maria, wife of Emmanuel, who joins us on Airtel Touch Lives. Maria, I brought you to say. Yes. Anyway, we'll be getting down to business with uh, uh, Maria and the family. But first, let's see some footage of Emmanuel undergoing rehab. Emmanuel was taken to the renowned orthopedic training center in Sawam, where he was fitted with an artificial leg. He went through an intensive rehabilitation process to prepare him for his first steps on his new leg. Incredible. Say, see, I'm the owner of you. Now, if we say, you're here with a man, send a Okay, say, say, but yeah. Do you to me? And can I to me? Yes, you to me. I'm to me that I'm talking to you. 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 I'm talking to you
meeting na dia kuta bi dia dey na won ta rehye mo niam so dia na sasa first meeting me share ties by say say meeting me share ties they say so meeting me share ties to class sorry this is to be dey connect about na say dia sa meeting me yen pogba kwato maria and so say be na we hu say sia e wo kunu life me since say dey a prosthetic leg lesion. Say, my own say, why fun? But men are to be. Oh, yeah, no, Pavia. But you're a yard, Yamisham. You, Yamisham, so pa, when you had your pass, I'm a home in town. You have a good luck, why? You may be a good pass if you ask me. Well, that is Emmanuel. Emmanuel walks. The program continues right after this break. Touch your life. are contagious. Within us is the potential to transform lives through our actions and attitudes. Make your change with Airtel. Touch your lives. Our next story is both warming and humbling. Let's see what it's about. Her endearing personality, her willpower, and her audacity to hope when there's virtually nothing to hold on to are probably the first elements you see when you first meet her. Linda's story is about family and a mother's bond with her daughter. The team travels to Galilea near Kaswa in the central region. Linda and her mother live in Manhiam, a suburb of Galilea. Manhiam is an old community with a very protective people, which is the element which makes this community unique. For the inhabitants of Manhiam, they are more of a larger family than a small community. Let me ask, how did you meet Linda? Linda is a very good friend to my family, especially the mom. It's a very close friend to my mom, and my mom usually used to pay her visits. So that's how I got to know Linda, through friendship. What's she like? She's very cool. Linda is a very cool girl, very respectful and quiet. Tell me about Linda's situation. Linda was born like any normal child, but when she was two years old, she had a convulsion that made her paralyzed. So since 20 years now, Linda has been paralyzed in a wheelchair. Linda has been in a wheelchair since the age of two. Despite her disability and living in poverty, she has not let life get the best of her. She exudes positivity and has a clear passion to better herself and her station in life. Your family in Dampoama, your woman was Santia Fijasi, because my primary school, Elhon, and I'm if you are background, Beko Jesus, and Esses was. He said, May we Esses, when I'm Master, say, Jewel Medical College, a nursing school, Elwager. In the TLT wheelchair, may I sing? A ham in Terebia. I'm <laughs> And a man in your quaint a cra, no Timcotan, the Turbin Susta, on one and then Mequana Pa. Yes, it says, first not the Mequana, on one son by the family, a trainer, basin, be boys or Omnibeba, into a Democana Panama de Mabefi. 
Won't you, mammy, to me, go to my dear, more yes, can find she fear near the air, saying, Ayo. I tell a bear, I tell a bear, bear me, I tell a bear, that men call. Na men cosco, my cat, no, with me. I ain't your man, tell me now what's in my cocoa, and they're not their supper. A year or so, you had to see my mammy. There are, there are names, and I'm me on money and trees, and when I meet you close, it's your man, and yes. But you're free, as I tell you, yes. You're free, you're here. But we want to be able to do a cry. No, we have a fire, and we could have one of you. I my hand. I knew. I knew. I knew. I I knew. 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 I I I I I why we want some congratulate me? A ban is in a winning baby. Tama, I could only need two years. I am only happy. Okay, I'm saying, would you always are a forty? Now, dear, hope it's my worry, but if you want, no, you can. Different me, who need be to me, Anaya. I didn't know more school, monk a crack, crack, do a crack. If you don't do my mini animal, I catch him say, my way are a forty. I'm not going to be a bank 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 I'm not going to be I'm going to have a car. 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 I'm going to have or more, which says in his own so much to be my baby. By the end, I lend here. But you will hear a school fees and a wheelchair. And was it more as young? Yeah, this is a copying to a young man, the apparent to him, Lato. Then a scassel, she and pa scassel. A banister, so when you're well, we hear, and suck him while we hear now. Say in the Ever many a hotel Young as she is, Linda has encountered and survived many challenges in her life physical disability, abandonment, and poverty. Regardless of her unfortunate circumstances, she finds the strength to smile and the will to persevere because of her mother's truly undying love. For Linda, in spite of it all, hope abounds. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause as we welcome these two wonderful women onto Airtel Touch and Lives. <laughs> you, now Linda, and Edward do see here, yeah, Boncomi. Now, near Ethel, Pessima Catcher on the set. Edic and one percent me do we a mow. When I a scholarship, I Ethel touching lives at the mower. She said, A free summary quid year with school, Coninano, Ethel touching lives, a fahu Kenina. If you answer, but you speak with you. Now, anyway, train also, one more day, laptop, a come one more, near some of whom I hear books. Which means she had a year, Pama, Nancy Abbas. 
Once you be a juma for for cry, I'm out. Eh, no, no, a free air touch and life. So, a juma is sicker. I will be to me, you who's sicker. They are shown home. Now, they be so after lender. And no, any juma baby, I'm out. It's getting a free air touch and life. It's a funny baby now. A twitcher. Hey, he has a best one. Maybe you're not a quitch man. Yes. Any now. Now, and sign you. Air touch and life. So, this man can't show me. Baby, I'm out here. I am not going to be able to rent. I am not going to be able to be able to rent. I brought my dream in tears. There are stability coming in a couple of tears. Some day they are so so. And the massive brain, your mind, you brought my dream in tears. Linda, any auntie you see, I had a massive. Monko swan you, my palm, and I'd you see it. You can say, once so, what done in Papa, I'm on my gun. They had that sense of person, my dear, so that strong cry, and my Dennis. I This week has been super incredible, and all thanks goes out to all my guests whose lives have been a blessing to others, and also to you out there for your goodness and support to those around you. Until next week, stay good, stay positive, and remember to dream big, commit to your passions, and you will learn to fly. Goodbye. <laughs> next week on Air Touch Touching Lives, we look back at one of the highlights of the last season when we catch up with Rebecca and her family. I ask myself, why wasn't I born that way? Next stop is the Ashanti region where AC meets one very determined young man. When it came, how did it affect you? I lose my job. They told me to come home. Touching lives, making a difference, show.